So the fish is dead, but its little whiskers are like, Bleh. Why is the ocean so scary? Woo! Fighting scared me. <laughs> this is Jazzwind, day two, dredge. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Grotesque mackerel. Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've ever seen before. <laughs> He's kind of cute. I love his big, big teeth. Er. This is where that shadow person was. The gale cliffs. So yeah, let's keep going beyond and see what this X is. Whoops. Okay. Lights generally indicate there's a town. Let's go there. And I can dock for the night and not have to worry about whatever's out here trying to get me. There's red. There's got to be a dock here. I see the little <laughs> the tires. Yeah, there we go. Ingfell. Tired whaler, Ingfell resident. <clears throat> what is it? Uh, what can you tell me about Ingfell? Ingfell used to be whaling town. Emphasis on the used to be. Ugh. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago, and now look at us, barely scraping by for a new candle. Anything else? Hmm. Do they kill all the whales? Oh yeah, she's just telling me there's treasure in these waters. Have you heard of the tale of Magrin? He was an old whaler from these parts. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of these trips. He says this scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magrin the Fisherman. The Fishman, not Fisherman. Magrin the Fishman. One day, the town awoke to find all the boats, nets, and lines had been slashed in the night, and old Magrin was nowhere to be found, nor has he been seen since. Anything else? That's ominous. This is unrelated. Vessel... S.Y. Grand Prize. Owner, Mr. Michael Schultz. Port Galecliffs. This is the stuff he had on his ship, I think. 12-piece tea set. Bone China. Bone China is so awesome. I have a Bone China cup. It is so awesome. It's very thin, and I'm so afraid I'm going to break it, but it looks so nice, and it feels nice. Anyway, Bone China 6X cup. 6X saucer. Acquired from an eastern dealer. Do not use. I wonder why. A uh, jar of earth. A jar of earth. I've got a jar of dirt. <laughs> a jar containing earth from a meteor impact site. Allegedly. Okay. 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 <gasps> we get to find a jar of dirt, I think. And I'm very excited about that. That's a cute little reference. Well, how do I get in there? Because that's where the red is. There's a shipwreck in there. Uh. Yeah, do you know how to... I can clear the debris. Ah. Hmm. You probably need some explosives to ship those rocks. My brother at Inkvale used to make explosives. Oh, that was the old guy we met. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Well, it, it, he obviously doesn't have it. The way you don't ask this question. Where is it? <laughs> That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, the creature, it dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched barrows. The crest went down with it. Oh, great. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. Okay, yeah, I'll look for it. Thank you, but please be careful. I heard you used to make explosives. Mm. I, I did. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient or the more pleasant, but it got the job done. I've been thinking about getting back into it. I might be able to rustle up something strong enough to clear these debris piles in the cliffs. Ah, but I'm not sure. I don't have enough energy these days. Yep, I could use that. All right, I'll think on it some more, but I make no promises. Anything else? No. Okay. 
Bonk. Oh. Ahoy there. You're a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. <laughs> what? <laughs> Assistance from an angler? Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them on my travels so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share your info with me. Sure. Great. The fish I have left to track down are oarfish, gulper eel, goliath tigerfish, and a colacanth. Colacanth? That's like an extinct fish. I think. Did you ever see strange things at sea? Mm. Strange things. Plenty. But I try not to dwell on them. You could go crazy, you know? Ha. Huh. But hey, if you're seeing strange things, maybe you're not seeing them the right way. Maybe they're not so strange after all. Or perhaps they are, and they're incredibly dangerous. Better not risk it. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Okay, I'm curious as to what she meant by that. Because of the ghost ships that we've been seeing, and the little cyclone that I saw... On the little thing that goes bloop in the water. <laughs> Say, have you met the photographer? She stopped by my pontoon a little while back. She's loaded up with fancy camera equipment to take pictures of all the wildlife. Anyway, she said she was setting up on a small island to the south of the Maros. If you're in the area, maybe you should check on her. South of the Maros. Hold on. The North Pole is at the top, so the South... No. Wait. <laughs> Where is Santa? Is he at the North Pole or the South Pole? Santa's at the North Pole. Santa's up here. So the South is down. So it's got to be one of these... <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> Ouroboros flag. Oh. <gasps> is this for my ship? Did I just find a cosmetic? Don't hit the rocks. You pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hull. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor, except this one has a huge breach on one side. You're tied up alongside the old wreck. Uh, look in the cabin? Try to find a loose floorboard. Look in the cupboards and drawers. The cupboards have been completely and methodic methodically, methodically emptied. All the drawers are missing. You're in the cabin. There aren't any floorboards left. Oh, well then where am I standing? Uh, check out the cargo. You poke through the cargo hold. A few items remain, not yet lost to the sea. Okay, I need these metal scraps. Oh, I can't actually take it. Unless I, can I put it in storage? Oh, okay, cool, cool. Okay, doc, 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 doc. Is this the photographer? Yay! We found her! Oh, she's adorable! I was, sa I was sailing from Stellar Basin, you see, squeezing my boat through a narrow gap between two islands. And then I crashed into some coral. I thought I heard something in the water behind me, so I dared not stop. If you were able to retrieve the lenses for me... Uh, let me see. She rummages through... What few belongings survived the trip. Hmm. I have a spare camera here that I don't need. You're welcome to it, if you can find those lenses. I'll mark on your map where I think I lost them. And she marked it on my map, which I'm assuming is this now. Dusty Pontoon. Is that lady's boat's name? Oh, finally! Bag of doubloons! Bag of gold doubloons. This ought to fetch a decent price somewhere. Okay, okay. Got me a bag of doubloons! <laughs> Before I go do her quest, I want to upgrade the ship. So, from here, we're gonna go find some upgrade pieces. Bearded mackerel. He's cute! Look at him! The wispy tendrils sprouting from its mouth and flanks continue to writhe long after the fish has stopped flailing. So the fish is dead, but its little whiskers are like... Bleh. Okay. 
You know what? I think I like that each fish has its own mini game. Or not each fish, but there are several m different mini games for the fish. It's not all the same. Like Sardu fishing. Hearing weird stuff. There he is. It's the Shadow Man. And I'm gonna get stuck here at night. <laughs> More. Still. Empty. They point to another shape on a second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. There you go. Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish, drawing out its heart. It's consumed as quick as the first almost fulfilled. They point to a fish on the final scroll. This one is a snake mackerel. Oh, check it out. It's long. Okay. Poo nuggets. Where am I gonna go? Oh, I forgot last time we were here that one guy took off. The dock worker. The dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear at what he sees. Strong. He stares ahead in silence. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally, a tremor shakes his body and his breathing becomes labored. Are you okay? He seems unable to respond. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. What was that? <laughs> a trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. Okay, I think the, the dock worker is messed up. <laughs> I'm pretty upset because he was our buddy. Oh, right! This is where we dropped off the builder. I'm gonna check on her. Ah. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was... Found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. I got a book. She hands you a book. The cover is dusty, but otherwise good, good condition. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. Okay. Well, look, there's a ghost ship. There it goes. Here it comes! Oh no, rest! Go ship. Do we want more engine first? Or rod spaces. One more scrap of metal. Yes! Uh, genius! Big brain. Bam. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? I come <laughs> across. Of course, there's stuff for the hole. Why wouldn't there be? Research complete. Oh, okay, cool. What the f is this? Refined metal? Two metal scrap. How do you get refined metal? Well, how to hold on a minute. Somebody's got to, like, refine it for me, and I haven't found that person. So, <laughs> I'm not getting a bigger hole right now. Oh, what does this do, though? Lasts for a day. This simple design will passively catch basic fish when deployed. A wise investment for those that want to explore the oceans. So it acts like a trap, I guess, that I bring along with me? What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? They get sick. <laughs> well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish, any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. No, sir, I think this is a bad idea. I'm pretty sure that we, like, just killed the one guy by feeding him a fish. So... Is that a do oh, it's orcas! What is straight ahead of me? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go check it out because it looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go. Follow the orcas. That looks like another lighthouse. It 
it's huge. Or a tower. It could be just a castle. Because there's some ruins and stuff. It's the shadow people! There's statues of them. Okay, that's like a little volcano, I think. Yeah, it's a little volcano event. I was like, oh no, it's a monster! A man meets you. A man meets you as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day, a fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Happiness? Why would it, why would it? Ha, merely an excuse to halt the search for something greater. Happiness is, by definition, a compromise. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as Herald of the Purge. Just as I was, for the one before me. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. That's asking a lot, <laughs> sir. A large eyeless beast. The carvings of a large fish with crossed out eyes. The unseeing mother. When the starving cannot eat, she approaches. Beneath these words, somebody's added a crudely scratched note. Blind, but can hear her children. Avoid at all costs. Okay, that's not ominous or anything. That's obviously a blind sea monster. I love all the stuff you can see under the water. That's so cool. What? What is this? Oh, okay. It was spooky. Oh no. What are these? Firefly squid. Cute. I'm only gonna grab one though, because I'll probably. It'll probably get rotten. Can I dock here? Yes! <laughs> okay. It's a laboratory and a generator. The laboratory is in ruins, with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Uh, open the cupboards. Hey. Yeah. This place is really pretty. What was that? What is that? I'm hoping that that's just plants, but they don't look like plants. I'm not going out there. I'm hearing a dog. There it is. Whoops. Shoot. There is a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. Hold out some fish in your hand. You those fish grabs in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begins begin licking at them. Pat the dog. You reach out and gently pat the dog. I get to pet the dog! Yay! Uh, its eyes follow your hand. It seems to understand you're not a threat. You continue, this time, with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. When you get to the boat, you turn around and pull the dog on board. Well, heck yeah! Of course! I'm gonna take this little dog with me. You lift the dog onto the deck. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I'll see everybody Wednesday. Goodbye, everybody! Bye!